Yo, Mew Mew must be dying in this thing, my poor boy. Imagine having to wear like the biggest of Mickey Mouse costumes out in the blazing sun desert. Fuck that. Proxy, welcome back to Blazewood. Or maybe you prefer Mighty Manager. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, know your place, Mayor. But she got caught up in dealing with the diner's <laughs> logistics. <laughs> There's something about seeing Caesar doing fucking paperwork that is just comedy gold. Definitely not because she drank too much of my nitro <laughs> fuel last night. Not only is she doing paperwork, she's doing it while hungover. Yes, Bernice. Her ability to poison your liver is second to none. To announce the new Overlord's ascension to the Outer Ring and to spread the philosophies of the Sons of Caledon throughout the land. <laughs> What the fuck are your philosophies? Now, Sons of Caledon is literally just do it. But look at the Sons of Caledon. None of them can cook for beans. Well, you're telling me your squad doesn't have a five star chef? Bernice, you're literally a walking barbecue, my girl. I myself am pretty good at cooking. Yes. But we're completely swamped with taking over the previous Overlord's affairs. So we don't have the workforce needed to run a diner. <laughs> I love that, like, slight, like, please look. <laughs> she hasn't even said anything yet, but that smug look, nah. You're a super hacker. You can run a diner. Come on. Not to mention we've never been good at managing businesses that require dealing with constant guests. She's like, my social etiquette can be a bit much for some people. Being the manager of a diner in Blazewood sounds like an interesting job. Yeah, just instead of selling movies, we're selling gourmet food made by Bernice in the kitchen. <gasps> Is she gonna cook? Yes! I want to see her literally use a flamethrower to cook a damn steak. But managing a diner can't be more challenging than guiding warriors through the <laughs> raging and. <inferno. laughs> The self-awareness game, yes. You've been in the face of death many times. I'm sure your customer service skills are great. I'll leave the key to Cheesetopia with you, <gasps> Cheesetopia! Ah! Now this gives like Chuck E. Cheese energy, but it's a fucking diner. Key? But <laughs> half a real door. Why do I feel like we're gonna touch the entrance and the whole fucking place is gonna fall apart? Wait, this is... <laughs> We have our first customer, cracked old man. You can't tell if he's really wise or on heroin. It's one of the two. Future manager of Cheesetopia, yes. Mighty manager, madam. Bro, Bernice is trying to recruit us, but she keeps telling us how shit this place is. Bernice, you've watched a lot of movies. Started from the bottom, now we're here, madam. It's not too late to get the fuck out, right? Bernice is like, no, I'll literally set you on fire. <laughs> Oops, got ash in my eye. Girl, that is pink eye overnight. You're gonna look like you're high at all times. Even though, well, <laughs> you kinda are, baby. All right, ladies and gents, it seems we have our work cut out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Imagine just getting chucked in here. All right, make this place a diner. Bro, there's fucking trash. A nice old sewer dweller. Like, fuck. I also love how he's not leaving, despite us being right next to him screaming we're gonna start renovations <laughs> bro whatever materials we're getting they better have been sent by bang boo jesus himself because goddamn we're gonna need it in the span of a second all it took was one fade to black yes be proud casa <laughs> oh nah it's such subtle decor but it's bougie <gasps> we have the fo oh my god this is like the typical movie phone for pizzerias, dog. Like, we're taking orders. Hi, Domino's Pizza. Would you like a foot long? Like, these booths. I kind of wish we had a little more, but it kind of works, bro. I'm sure Mew Mew and his fat ass could sit on one of these. Also, I'm happy we kept a little bulldog and the piss stain on the wall. Yes, it adds personality to the diner. I swear to God, if Cheesetopia doesn't sell grilled cheeses, I'm gonna fucking riot. <laughs> You've recommended movies to people, so I'm sure you can also recommend the culinary arts. <laughs> Fuck. I'll be an acting customer. Ooh, not Belle. We gotta get our Riz on immediately. I want a poster of this cheese thing in my room so bad. <laughs> Wait, it's so cute. Now, if McDonald's changed their logo to this, Dog, I would be getting diabetes so quick. Oh, the majestic chopping board. I'm noticing a lack of cheese in these things on my screen. Is this a cactus martini float? Wait, what is this? Okasa wants something that's both healthy and delicious. Well, 
I'll have you know, Casa, that doesn't exist. So to cater to her needs, we'll give her something that tastes absolutely amazing. With no nutritional value whatsoever. Although, to be fair, there's some little- Ah, oh, wait! The tomatoes have angry boar faces on them! Come on, that just screams health food, Casa. You know you love that. Not gonna lie, this cactus looking thing, you could not pay me enough money to eat this. I love the bowl it's in, but just <laughs> tastes pretty good. Oh, you bitch. If someone goes into your restaurant and doesn't even leave a three star review, pff, make sure they never leave a review again. Let's invite some of the locals. Yes, bring the crack cocaine old man and the nice kid with his pet turtle. <gasps> if we get to serve food to a turtle, my life is complete. You look like that girl who promotes my video store. Get back to work, townie. Girl, I didn't ask for your life story. I asked you to come taste my food. Will it bring back your childhood? Fuck no. <laughs> Listen, we're not Gordon Ramsay here. It's a diner. We sell grilled cheese and cactus. Strange restaurant? Oh God, I want to hit you. Listen, if you walk into a place like this, the first thing I'm saying is, wow, nice <laughs> your God, <laughs> it's not bad, okay? Where's my food, bitch? You just sat down. Don't you get all sissy with me. Wait, which one of you was the one who said they were impatient? You? Oh, you are so getting served last. Yo, look at the nutritional value. Oh my God. Wait, how does this have negative one taste? The assortment of onions, cabbage, all this shit with the meat. It's literally a taco with a chicken ass mascot. Oh, this man just wants nutrition. <laughs> Have some cactus. Wait, we need to assort everything in a way that we can serve every- Oh, hell no! Nah. We're that broke when it comes to ingredients. <laughs> Get this bitch two rum and cokes. Get this big man his tacos. Haha, <laughs> yes, we have appealed to the masses. After three minutes of brainstorming, who gets the taco? Fortunately, we had to give it to the annoying bitch who was impatient about our food. Better than what my mom made? <laughs> this place was literally a dump yard five minutes ago. Now we gotta respect Casa people for running a diner when she should be being mayor of a town right now. But it's fine, you do you, bitch, we respect it. Also, I'm noticing a fair lack of cheese in our dishes, what's happening? Stage three, appeal to more basic bitches. Hurry, I wanna eat- <laughs> The amount of shit I would put in your food, sir. The only standard for food should be its taste. Oh, I wanna marry this woman. <laughs> now listen, health's important, but diabetes also slays. Both healthy and delicious. Clearly you need more health. You're wearing a face mask in the desert. How sick are you? Wait, it's a scorpion buried in sand next to like a rice looking baked potato egg. Oh, I wonder what scorpion tastes like. I low-key would be kind of down if it's actually decent. <laughs> now I gotta say the presentation on these dishes is actually amazing. If you're giving me food that looks like this, mwah, Caesar! This is a cheese catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you so much. Was she always big on puns? She made like one or two during the main story, but now her first line of dialogue. A cheese catastrophe? Is that a cheese topia catastrophe? Oh! <laughs> cheese topia without cheese is like the sons of Caledon without boar sirens. You got that. Cultured queen, we are on such similar wavelengths, baby. Where the fuck is the cheese? We've been serving tacos and rice pudding cakes, scorpions and sand. Is it too much to ask for a damn pizza? A thieves took the goods and jumped into the hollow in a panic. Someone stole our cheese. That is the biggest death sentence you could ask for. When I find these fools, they're gonna be shitting cheese for years. The loss of the other goods isn't too pressing. But the high-end cheese I yeah. personally selected for you, Eridu. The fresh food route I personally established on the Outer Rings Highway. She's like, I never do paperwork, but I was so invested to get these cheese routes. And now, the audacity of these bitches. I just had to mess with my cheese. <laughs> and my feast. Unforgivable. <laughs> I feel like if they stole like a hundred K of just like firearms, Caesar would just let them go. But now... Caesar has the, I'm a cut a bitch face. <laughs> Cheese is power! 
I swear, I need her first speech as Overlord to just be praising Cheese for 10 minutes. The crowd is like, what kind of crack cocaine leader do we have? <laughs> Lucy taught me that last line. Lucy, mwah, best little sister. Influencing Caesar in the best way. The kitchen burns wild, my homies. <laughs> I feel like it's fitting we bring someone as serious as Soldier to get back some damn cheese. Wait, the music! Oh, hold up, hold up, turn this up. Da -na 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 -na. Get the cheese! Cheese, we are coming! No god lasers can stop us. If you play this track and tell someone a guess of what's it for, ain't nobody saying it's to rescue some damn cheese. I only just now realized what we were supposed to be doing. <laughs> it appears I have made a blunder. We got the fragrant goods. That sounds so black markety. Yeah, I got you, dog. Slides the cheese into his pocket. Oh, look at you. <laughs> He's like, ah, the ground is so warm. It's break time. <laughs> the time has finally come to add cheese to our shit. Cheese is like a rare gem out here. We praise the cheese every night before we sleep. Every morning before we rise. Better cheese than never. <laughs> Caesar, I love you for so many reasons. You have no idea. We have our first VIP. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that a damn pizza? Oh, no, no, no. Caesar, I'm gonna love you so much right now. Oh my god. Oh. This is the perfect definition of food can make you bust. We got some shrimp with cheese. Some pizza and cheese. If I could eat that every day for the rest of my life and have no health repercussions, I would do it. Also, it's steaming and glistening. It's literally shining like all cheese does because it's a gift of God. We have prepared the most astute dish for the king. And besides for the cactus, I would devour the fuck out of this. Oh! Wait, no, she's getting into culinary expertise mode. Soft, delicate to the touch. Just like Carly Shep. <laughs> Imagine having a cheese conditioner, cheese based soap. The difference of comments. I like it. I like it. The taste of hot blooded passion. Perhaps it was fished out of sin. <laughs> Fuck. See, Caesar's the type I would want at my restaurant. So peak. Why is Lucy praising the word of cheese, Jesus? And filling Caesar's brain with cheese. I'm not complaining. I just want to know the reason. <laughs> cheese is power. I'll praise the cheese. Imagine if instead of protein shakes, all a person needs is cheese. Or upgrading the diner, please. Let us bougify it. Add some decorations, peeps. Both of those meals look amazing. Look at the boar. Oh, God. Look at the boar cartel. It's so beautiful. Also, a burger with fries. Mm, a classic for every diner. Day two. Ah, oh, yes! Entering, but you don't have anything even resembling a door here. <laughs> Listen later, it doesn't matter which room we're in, door or not, just come barging in, I love you. The mysterious den <laughs> run by the legendary proxy, Faithen. There's so much of a low-key doofus energy. <laughs> He's precious in his weird way. This is a bit of a dump, isn't it? <laughs> it may be a dump, but it's our dump. And just wait till we upgrade it to level six. Maybe we'll have two more booths. <laughs> I love how Belle came into this conversation pissed off. Listen, we're gonna thrive and prosper, sir. Hey, watch it. <laughs> yes! I wasn't built in a day. Nor was Topia. Compared to when I first took over, this place is a luxury diner now. How dare you spit on the hard work of the hustle and bustling lower class. You must be getting used to life around these parts. <laughs> that is exactly it, sir. By ghetto standards, this place is beautiful. I'm here on a mission from my boss and her royal highness <laughs> to see if there's anything I can help out with. We're gonna have a lighter in the kitchen with us. God. I love how he calls Lucy the royal highness. Oh, it's you? You look... <laughs> Pretty tough. He came in wanting hands, but upon one look of the lighter's testosterone, he runs coward. Also, Dorian, what's up, little bro? Was he being protective of cause to all, baby? Where'd this NPC come from? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Don't bully him like that, okay? Lighter's like, ugh, basic bitch shirt, basic ass face, look at him. Dude, the look on Lighter is just judging right now. Hey, I'm no NPC. <laughs> Listen up. I mean, uh, like, like, he's not wrong, but like, we should bully him, Lighter. And the honorary advisor to Cheese Topia. 
which will soon become the most famous diner in Placewood. He's like, yes, look how important I am. Lighter's like, mm, I'm not impressed. Oh, you're a couch potato. <laughs> when I was young. <laughs> He's lazy? Ooh, this might be my spiritual animal boy. <laughs> actually, I came up with a procurement plan for the door already. Yeah, what, are we actually gonna get a door? Then Lighter can bust the door down. I'll pay him to do that. In the depths of the outer ring hollow, Past the long, dangerous roads covered in ethereums. The, the way he hyped it up, through the darkest depths of the abyss, lies the majestic item known as the door. If we can nab its door for cheese topia, oh my God. wouldn't that attract a ton of customers? <laughs> We're literally about to fight to the death for a fucking door. This event is amazing. Lighter's like, kid, what kind of acid are you on? Are you telling me that we're charging <laughs> into a hollow, brawling all the way to the bowels of an ether filled lair, and slaughtering hordes of bloodthirsty <laughs> ethereal <laughs> to steal an old tavern door? <laughs> yes. Yes, we. <laughs> exactly right. Nothing <laughs> less of you, Lighter. You got my idea right away. Kid, how about you let the playable characters make the decisions? Cool. I'm in. Yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> He's all about the scrap life, dog. He's like, well, I was told to help out, so I guess this kind of counts. Why do this in the hardest way possible? It's called Exposition Bell. We need to have more plot in this amazing event. <laughs> Who knew an opportunity like this would come knocking at my door? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dad joke from a daddy is perfect. An issue that can be solved with fists <laughs> is no issue at all. Oh God! That is the toppest thing to say on God, along with the look of disgust on his face. Shit. Oh, comedy goal. That actually was the best fucking thing. <laughs> this event is amazing, man. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, this music suits a lighter, dog. They placed the door somewhere around here. Are we just gonna find out on like the highest building? Dude, every line of dialogue lighter say, he's like, nah, we're gonna notice the door when we see it. How amazing is this door gonna be? Are you actually kidding me right now? <laughs> I didn't expect you to judge a door by its color. <laughs> but is this really that door? <laughs> this is not the one, dog. Never mind, <laughs> wait, what? Bro, I thought they were gonna pull the switcheroo and be like, oh no, that's not actually the door. But psych, I, I guess it was. Dude, Lighter is this man's idol. And honestly, I don't fucking blame him. You can see his muscle through his jacket, it's impressive. The door only becomes a legend when we install it, my good sir. Thank you so much, Mass. <laughs> All hail the almighty lighter for fighting to the death for a door. I shouldn't have let you starve at my rest. <laughs> this event is comedy gold, people. We don't even have a choice. We have to say it verbatim. Not gonna lie. The installation process of this door kind of eludes me. Like this is one thick entrance for some twink ass door. But no, this door has backstory. It has lore, people. Lighter is a walking promotional man. People are just gonna see him eating at this restaurant. Dog, we're gonna start coming money. Well, well, partner, I heard you got some good french fries up in this establishment. Easy to eat and full of energy, as expected of the gym bro. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he actually wants the Borga! <laughs> this is every gym bro's dream, dog. Also, look at our little boy with his little race flag. This Bangboo was born to ride inside of your stomach. Dog, he's gonna have to go and fist many ethereals after this. I still don't know what this beautiful thing is. Oh! Wait, is it supposed to be like demonic ice cream of the desert? Because it has the three amigos shaped as demon ice cream cones. I wonder what flavor this is. Is it pistachio? It looks like pistachio. <laughs> Guys, tell me, what do you think the main character response is here? I'll be back again. I like it. The perfect reward after a fight. Oh, this door looks a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> Why did I think it would be like double the size? <laughs> sure, if someone wanted to rob the place, it'd be just like a hop hop. But no, pff, we're a wholesome community out here, dog. Any thieves get their ass beaten by the entire community. Almost makes me crave the city life where I can feast on junk food every day. It's not really how the city life works, my husband. 
but golly gosh darn, I wish it was. <laughs> he wants to work at the Blockbuster one day. Don't worry, I'll replace Bangboo 16 with your beautiful face. Just think of the amount of high school girls that would come into our store for this one man. <laughs> I'd swap the Coke with Nitro Fuel. <gasps> Ooh, spicy! Oh, I kind of like that. Wait, I like the door so much more than I thought, and I have no idea why. <laughs> Stevia, you're my darling angel. <laughs> she's looking like, damn, this is a nice thick ass door. You got good taste. Also, oh, she's wearing merch. Where did you buy this apron, madam? Don't tell me you've plagiarized from us. Are we selling this yet? Or is some bootleg company ripping us off? Yes. <laughs> Let's make the angle as wide as possible so the place actually looks big. <laughs> it still looks fucking tiny, but it's nice. It's a humble abode, okay? 20 minutes later. All right, I helped you with your emotional issues. Now come to my diner, sir, please. We have hamburger. Oh, this one looks fucking good. Dude, who made the nutritional values of these things? It says minus one tay, but look at it. It's a green pepper stuffed with veggies, a nice meat with a little ball. Ah! And to top it all off, we give her the special ice cream of demons. Cutest demons you've ever seen, mind you. God damn, it looks good with a nice Coke. This is a full course meal. And then we have a hurry, I want to eat man. Pfft. Give him two cactuses and send him away. God damn, this small little child can eat a hell of a lot of food. Six tacos, four puddings, a Coke. You shouldn't be looking like a schoolgirl. You should be looking like big chungus after this. Yes, I'm sure your mom would make this much food at once. It's like, why don't you make me six tacos, mom? What's that? So I don't get diabetes. But yes, now we have Alzheimer's old man. For you, good sir, a whole ass damn plate. Variety is king. Damn, this bitch can eat two. A burger and a scorpion all in one meal. Girl, girl, that stomach must be Bernice, baby, I need your help in the kitchen. We don't have enough customer complaints about their food being on fire. Oh, okay. I love the idea of just like these big truckers passing by with crates and crates of cheese. And then small little Belle just has to come out and sign them. Carry the big ass barrels. <laughs> nah. The hustle and bustle of running a pizzeria. I mean a cheese. A real. <laughs> yes. Bernice, we need to hang out more. Come pass by. Like Lighter did. We need to go into a hollow and bond. Ding whiz dong. The sound. <laughs> they have to emphasize. Yes, that is what renovations sound like. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. Dude, two extra booths go so far. Cost is like, yes. Welcome, She's bitches. Okay. Open for business. But with that in mind, that's gonna be the end of part one. Thanks for the recommendation, guys, and have a good one. Peace.